entertained? Are you not entertained? Is this not why you are here? What was that? This is a movie review for the movie The 33. Now this is based on the true events that which I was alive at but I don't really remember it. I know my parents probably remember it, a situation where a group of miners, 33 miners, were uh, barricaded in a mine, a mine like literally like 1700 feet down below and uh, it's about a group, it's about this group trying to survive for over 69 days and eventually getting taken out and if you know the true story and it's based on your story, so there might be a little bit of spoilers in the movie, but this is about a, the group and how they get out and how they beat the impossible and survived all together. And, and uh, it's a very, very, to me this movie was very powerful. I think in a lot of scenes, I think the scenes where they are underground and they are talking about getting out and the dramatic tension that is built between all these guys, it really builds because, you know, because then they start blaming each other and then, you know, it's really, really emotional and you kind of want these guys to pull through and get out. Is that the only way in? The only way in? The only way out. If you know the true story, then you know what's going to happen by the end of it. I think where the movie kind of falls flat is you kind of, when the families, the families start showing up and we get less of the guys down below, which I understand why they did it. I mean, it was kind of necessary to see both sides of the story. You want to know what the family's going through and what these guys are going through. And uh, when the family showed up on screen, the dramatic tension wasn't really much there. I guess it was just more of a the same thing over and over again with this family and we need to get these guys out and they keep telling them the same thing over and over again which is probably what really happened in real life so I'm not going to downgrade them I'm not going to try to downgrade the movie in any way but it got it kind of got old after a while with the same kind of just subject they got kept getting brought up but other than that um, everybody's good in the movie that all the acting performances are really good there's no downgrade to the acting whatsoever everyone's pretty good in the movie um I, I really liked Antonio Banderas who I thought did a marvelous job at this in this movie. He did a really good job. The best performance I've seen in, in a very well, a good long while that he's done. Antonio Banderas. Um, all the other actors are great, so don't get me wrong. Everybody does a really good job of portraying their characters really well. Um, you really want these guys to pull through in the end, and you got you really want to see it. But I did have a problem with uh, the family side of the things because you know because they are starting to lose hope and all that. And there's some good scenes with them, but don't get me wrong. But overall, it's the same thing being brought up again and again and again do what you can, get these guys out, make promises that you can get them out. And we, we understand they want them to get out, and it just kind of got old after a while. That was the only downgrade to the movie, I think. But other than that, I think this is more of a... Because when I, while watching it, it did feel like a movie that you'd see on TV a lot. Like, you will you will see this on TV quite a bit. It's That's how it felt to me. I don't know how you guys think, what you guys think, but I, to me, it just felt like one of those TV movies. That's a pretty good TV movie if you haven't checked it out. And I do got to say, The 33 is a pretty fun time. And uh, what I mean by fun, of course, I do mean it, it can be an emotional uh, rush and you do want these guys to pull through. So I guess that's a good thing. That's what the movie should have accomplished. So I will give the 33 a B minus. They're counting with me. <laughs> it's okay, Dad. I think it's the same grade I gave Everest. I'm not sure. I might have gave Everest, uh, Everest a bigger grade, which I also thought was a good suspense build movie based on true events. So, I, I do. I, I do stand by this movie. It's being a pretty good movie. It's nothing special. It's nothing uh, extremely new. It, but it is based on a true story, and it did pay respect to the true story, and I did find it very, uh, very good watch. So, guys, let me know down below what your thoughts on this movie. Do you guys want to see it? Do you guys even care? Let me know down below. Um, follow me on MoonPal.com. Follow me on Twitter. Be friends with me on Facebook. And as guys always do, I freaking appreciate you guys watching.